coffee time. I'm drinking a uh, Kona blend coffee with milk. Okay, so I figure it's been so long since I've done like a normal coffee time that the way I'm gonna make it up to you is I went to the store and I bought all of the different coffees with milk that they had at the store. There are three different ones that are like consistently here, like as an import from Japan. So there's like the Hawaii Kona coffee, which yes, is a, J a Japanese thing. I don't know why. There's that one. And then there's just the standard UCC coffee with milk. And then there's milk coffee gold. So we're gonna see um, which one is the best? And I don't know whether or not my mouth is actually going to be able to tell because um, I just got done recording with Cry. We recorded a bunch of Dandelion and it was by far like the weirdest recording so far. <laughs> like just the strangest session, which I'm totally cool with. Um, but that also means the only things in my tummy are coffee and water because I was drinking this. I drank like half of this while we were recording. So I'm a little bit like uh, wired up, wired up on dandelion and coffee and water, if water can wire you up. But anyway, so Kona coffee, it's pretty light. You know, it's, it's, it's a very sweet, which the milk helps with. So there's that. We're gonna try just regular UCC coffee, which is the same company that makes the, the Kona Hawaiian coffee in quotation marks. All right. Let's try to, let's try to cleanse our palate. Hold on. Oh God, I'm going to die. Okay. This tastes a little bit different. This one, Kona is almost sweeter, I want to say. This one tastes more like normal, like just regular coffee with tons of milk in it. Whereas this one... This one has like a more, not somber flavor. That's not what I want to say, but it's, it's a bit, it's a bit less coffee tasting than this one is. Yeah, I think I prefer this one actually. I normally get the Kona because it has the better can. Look, it's got like flowers and stuff on it. This one is just like, I'm coffee, which I guess should have said to me, I'm legit because I'm coffee, but they're also the same company. So it's hard to tell. Yeah, I like this one better, for sure. <gasps> now I know. Okay, and then we've got Paca Coffee. Paca Coffee, Milk Coffee Gold, Real Brewed. <sighs> my tummy's like, dog no. And my mind's like, yeah, dog yeah. <laughs> that one tastes totally different. That one, okay. You know how, for those of you who drink beer, you know how um, sometimes there's a very different flavor between having a beer in a, in a glass jar versus that exact same beer in a can? This tastes like coffee mixed with like that tinny can flavor. No, do not get poke coffee. <laughs> Don't get this one. This one's not, this is the best one. UCC coffee. There was, um, I think one other one, but it was in like a weird, I probably should have gotten it now that I think about it. It was in a weird like triangle box. So maybe next time, but yeah, this one is the best one. You know what this tastes like? This is like, um, the Starbucks Frappuccinos that you can get at the store that are just like little canned frappuccinos, right? Um, that's kind of what this one tastes like. So if you like that flavor, that sort of like, like sweet milky coffee flavor, UCC coffee, regular, not the Kona. I'm realizing now, man, I've been making such a mistake this whole time. This is the one, that's the one, that's the one, now we know. Oh gosh, whew, I'm not gonna sleep for a while. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, guys, I hope you're doing well. I'm doing really well. 
all. I've been back for three days now because I got back Sunday night and it is now Wednesday night. So yeah, like three whole days I've been back. Um, been getting a lot of work done, which is awesome. Also been playing a lot of games that are not good. You know, like it's so sad. Sometimes you're just like, I'm going to play a bunch of games that I've never heard of, but look like they're in my wheelhouse and you record them because you're me and maybe they'll be funny and you can put them on the internet. Uh, man, so many times I've recorded things in just the last couple of days and been like, nope, this will never see the light of day because this was terrible. And it's not necessarily because the game is bad, but because the game would not translate well into a video, you know, or I was just personally sort of bored playing it. Um, yeah, it's been weird. Also, I came back and uh, one of my pin boards had fallen down. So now, off to the side here, there's all, all of my little feline pins are like on the ground because I still need to pick that up and put it back on the wall and I haven't done it and I keep forgetting. The only reason I remembered is because I glanced to the side and was like, oh, two pins. Oh, that's right, the one that has all the cool pins on it fell. I feel bad feel bad. You're just sitting on the floor there. Although, this guy, this guy finally came in the mail. Can you see him? This is one of the ones that when I was going through my feline pins, I was like, which ones am I missing? It was this one and then uh, the pack of two that I bought and then it turned out they didn't actually have it. They were like, oh, sorry, we'll give you your money back. And I was like, no, I just want the pins. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh, that's right. <gasps> this whole time have I had like a weird dark circle under my eye because um, I might have been laughing so hard that I sobbed a little bit while, we were, while I was playing with crying. Hold on. Yep. Oh, I got them on both sides. Both sides, boys. All right. Sort of, sort of fix it. Whatever. You know, a little, little, little loosey goosey with it. Um. But yeah, so far this week has been good. Been trying to get lots of work done. Um, we did Manga Pod yesterday and the podcast, and those also went super good. The podcast was really long. It was like a little over three and a half hours. Normally we do not go that long. Um, and Manga Pod, we read um, Akatsuki no Yona, and it's so good. It's so cute. It was like the way that I was describing it on Manga Pod was that it's kind of like if you ever loved Fushigi Yugi. So I was like super into Fushigi Yugi when I was younger and and I tried re-watching it just like a couple of years ago, like maybe three years ago and realized that I just hate Miyaka. But like the main character, the main girl drives me absolutely insane because it's it's like Teen Wolf. It's like Teen Wolf, except Teen Wolf I can kind of like laugh at and I couldn't, I can't laugh at Fushigi Yugi anymore and I don't know why, but Teen Wolf does this thing where there's horrible stuff going on and things that really need to be taken care of, but you can always take a minute to make out a little bit, you know? And Fushigi Yugi is sort of like that in that there's so much going on, so many serious things, and she can always take a moment to be like, I wonder if Tamahome likes me. And I'm like, who cares? Who cares? Right? So reading Akatsuki no Yona, I was like, oh my gosh, this sort of, this feels so much like Fushigi Yugi and like the characters and the fantasy setting. And also just the fact that they use um, like Seiryu and Hakuryu and all of those. Um, but I was like, oh, Yona is such a cool main girl. Like, she's so much better. So much better than Miyaka. Like, if I put Miyaka here and Yona here, Miyaka would just, like, <laughs> just just fall over. You know, like, when you're playing, when, when you watch old men play chess in a movie and they just, like, knock over the other person's king, like, checkmate, and they just knock it over. Like, that would be, it would be, like, them together and then Miyaka would just, that's how I feel in my brain. So I was really, I was really happy to read Yona because it turned out to be, awesome. So I hope we read more of that. And now we're going to be reading Prison School, which by the way, I have totally been keeping up with. And it's just, it continues to be the most uncomfortable thing that I watch. And I can't, I, I have to keep watching it. And it's the weirdest feeling in the world. Normally with something like that, that makes me feel so uncomfortable, I reach a point 
I reach a point where I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> All right. I, I got, I got it. I get what this show is and it's not my Jimmy jam. Right. But, but with prison school, it's so strange. Like I just, I'm excited to read the manga and see what the manga is like because I know a lot of people who really love the manga who started off really hating the manga and then reached a point where they were like, I love this manga. And I feel like that's where I'm headed with the anime, right? So I'm like, oh, maybe it's going to be exactly the same where I start reading the manga and I'm like, I hate this. And by the end, I'm like, oh, I love it. <laughs> like, it's so weird. I've actually kept up with pretty much all of the anime that I started watching. Actually, no. I haven't been watching Gakokurashi. Um, I still have only seen the first episode of that. I need to watch more of it. <laughs> For no reason. It's fine. It's just a, a moe, moe fun fest. Nothing weird. <laughs> Any of you who have watched it know why I say that. But yeah, Gakokurashi I didn't keep up with. Um, Gate gave up. Roka gave up. Sam has been watching Roka. He's, uh, he's on like episode seven there's like seven of them out now I think and I was like so tell it to me straight has anything happened in that show and he was like no <laughs> he was like mm, no nothing has happened in that show really and I was like that was that's what I was concerned about that's what I was a uh, little little worried about but that uh so I'm kind of glad that I dropped that one I'm trying to think if there are any other ones that were in my my like seasonal anime video that I haven't continued. Oh, I haven't continued to watch Monster Musume at all. Um, I actually, I have kept up with Actually I Am, and that one has turned out to be like super cute and weird. Uh, the two that I look forward to watching the most each week, well, aside from like Ore Monogatari, whoopsies, lost me. Um, aside from Ore Monogatari and Food Wars, which are like my, I need the next episode now shows, you know, Aside from those, um, of the, the new anime from this season, uh, Ran Pokitan and Aoharu X Machine Gun have wound up being like the ones that I'm in love with. And I don't know why, and I feel kind of weird about it because like when I try to describe Aoharu X Machine Gun, like at least with Ran Pokitan, I can be like, it's like the Hannibal TV show meets Danganronpa. And people are like, oh yeah, that sounds like that sounds like your jam. That sounds perfect for you. And I'm like, I know. But with, uh, with Aoharu X Machine Gun, I'm like, it's about a girl who, um, everybody mistakes for a boy and she gets put on a BB gun team and, and she believes in justice. And they're like, mm, <laughs> I don't know about that, but it's, oh gosh, I don't know what it is. It's super weird. And there's no, like, <clears throat> there is a manga of that one, but it's not, the same as the anime at all. It's like a totally different thing. So I can't even, I can't even be like, uh, I want my Aoharu, I'm gonna go read the manga because it's not gonna help. <laughs> it's not gonna help ease my, my, my weird brain, you know? But yeah, it's been a good season so far. I don't remember how we got here, but it's been a good, it's been a good anime season so far. And I'm probably gonna go home and play some Final Fantasy XIV and put on some dumb TV and hang out with my cats. That's my plan for the evening and I'm really excited about it. And I'm glad that, um, oh my gosh, I have so much coffee here to drink. I'm glad, I'm glad that, uh, Cry and I play some Danders because we were really jazzed to do that. And I think Jesse and I are going to record a thing this week at some point. We were going to do it yesterday, but... Um, we wound up being sort of strapped for time. So, so hopefully Jesse and I can record a thing maybe tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's going good. I'm happy and I'm not just happy because of coffee. It's not like false pep happy. I'm like, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling happy about life. I'm feeling happy about stuff that's coming down the pipe, like Dragon Con and PAX Prime. I think that I'll be able to be like ready for those content wise, you know, like record a bunch of stuff and just be like good to go. So yeah, life is going good. I hope life is going good for you guys. Um, I hope that watching me drink these, do, should I chug one? Would that like really seal the deal? Would that seal it for you guys? Would that make you feel like, oh, should I, should, should I chug the paca? Should I chug the paca one, the gross one? I can't, I won't do it. <laughs> I won't do it. I won't do it. It's 
so gross. It's so gross. But mm, mm, I'll chug the rest of my Kona coffee. Oh, God. Okay. I'm going to chug the rest of my Kona coffee. There's like this much left. If I'm judging by, by weight, there's probably like that much left. I've drank like half of it. So this will be my final apology for the infrequent coffee times. Okay. Oh my God. Have an awesome, awesome rest of your day, guys. And I'll see you next time. Mwah. <laughs>